What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video, we are gonna be addressing some of the issues that I've had with my Bronco. If you guys saw the last video, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, I figured I'd take you guys along, try to get some of that stuff taken care of. Also, the new build and price is up for the Ranger Raptor, which was pretty fun because there's like literally like no options. All right, so if you look, you click start your build, and you've got, you can't choose anything here, can't choose anything here. Equipment groups, you, there's nothing there, nothing here. Here's your first option. You can pick wheels and you can't pick anything else. And then you can pick like the Raptor decals right there. And then again, just a bunch of like little accessories. There's no like major options. The biggest option really you're gonna have is like is color, the wheels, and like if you want a bed liner or the, and the decals basically. So I just, think that's, I just think that's kind of funny. You can choose if you want regular wheels or beadlocks, a graphics package, and like little accessories and things like a bed liner and then color. Like there's no options to choose from. There's no, it's just kind of, you get what you get and you can change little things, which I guess is cool, which means you have to work pretty hard to get the MSRP to be up, up and over, uh, like say 60 grand. Also should have a couple of really cool videos for you guys. Um, hopefully as long as everything uh, goes to plan here, fingers crossed, um, here in the next week, uh, the next few videos should be pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna go take the Bronco to get its hood taken care of. And I feel like I said, I figured to take you guys with me, see if we can find any, any cool cars. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys once we actually get there. Auto detailing, which is basically where I've taken like most of my cars. Let's check out and see what kind of cool stuff they've got in the parking lot. They usually always got some cool stuff rocking around. kind of have like the whole overlander vibe to them except for when they're lowered like this <laughs> but uh what do you guys think they're cool but i don't really think it's my style of my style of suv if you know what i'm saying all right guys we're back at the house and the bronco's getting worked on it should take a couple of hours to get done um but it's gonna be a lot cheaper than if i just tried to replace the hood or if i when i sell it or trade it in get dinged for all those dings <laughs> um, next thing I'm going to do is in these boxes behind me, I have the original like seat and stuff like that that I took out for the goose gear platform. So what I'm probably going to do is get those out, probably not today, but probably tomorrow, get them installed or reinstalled, I guess, on the Bronco, take out the platform um, and the fridge slide because I just kind of want to have everything ready to go. I don't want to wait till the last minute for when I sell it or trade it or whatever. Just want to get it ready because again, I don't have any trips planned with the two door um, anytime soon. And again, like I said earlier in the video, I do have something that I'm working on that you guys should be seeing next week that should be really cool. As long as again, everything goes smoothly. And so again, that's the only thing I really have like planned like trip wise, which isn't in the two door Bronco. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff out. Then we'll probably make a trip over, trip back up there to go pick it up. Once we get that taken care of, the Bronco will basically be good to go. Um, and I won't have to worry about getting any of that stuff done at the last minute or uh, anything like that. So I'll catch up with you guys once we go pick the Bronco up. All right, look at that guys. We got the hood all fixed up. It looks so much better, so much better. And they washed it, so it's actually kind of clean now. So that's, that's nice. There we go, first step in getting the Bronco ready and just fix in general. So obviously the next thing I gotta do is order that new like plastic trim piece on the, the dash or on the uh, the front there, which should be pretty easy, you know, to do because I'm just gonna order it and just put it on myself, you know, no big deal. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is to reinstall those seats, which I'm, I may or may not do today because this is the next day after I dropped it off. But yeah, like I said, just thought I'd bring you guys along, show you guys that. Um, and again, I might've mentioned this already a couple times in this video, but I do have some, a cool, I should have a really cool trip happening and some really cool stuff happening this coming week that you guys will see some some stuff on. Plus, like I said, there are two vehicles that are on order that one should be here relatively soon. One, I, I don't know, probably another six months or so. Who knows? I don't know. Depends on how they get their stuff done. 
Leave a comment down below. What do you think? What do you think those are? I, I'd be interested to see some of your guesses. So, anyways, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like uh, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.